Stop what you're doing and go buy a LEGO Ideas typewriter right now. You'll thank me later. LEGO just released the LEGO Ideas typewriter and I must say I will take back what I said in my review of the NASA Space Shuttle. The typewriter is so far the best LEGO set of 2021. The model itself is a representation of a classic typewriter machine, not based in any particular brand and comes with a lot of the details and functionality you would see on a real machine. Yes, functionality but more on that later on. The set has 2079 pieces and most of them are sand green, which looks amazing and old school. People who build mocks will probably see this as an amazing parts package. The keyboard features 32 printed elements with most of the keys you would often see in such a machine, like the letters, obviously, and some special keys like the shift keys, backspace, interrogation mark, and the big build here representing the spacebar. It does not feature numbered keys, which is a shame, as it would be amazing to have them as printed elements as well. Here we have the ribbon selector, which is just for show and doesn't really work, but in a real machine it would allow you to type either in black, stencil or red, which directly relates to the ribbon here, locked in place with the ribbon spools, and this is an actual LEGO element, whose material looks very similar to the ones used in minifigure capes. The final part of the model is the carriage of the machine, in which real paper can be fed into. For this purpose, included in the set, there's a letter written and signed by Thomas Kirk Christiansen, chairman of the LEGO group and the fourth generation member of the Kirk Christiansen family, the ones who created LEGO. The letter comes in 43 different languages, so you can choose which one to display. And this is how you feed the paper into the machine. Although I would like to point out that it isn't explained in the building instructions how to do it. You turn the carriage knob here on the side and done. I think it's a really cool extra to have on the set and another detail that can completely fool some people into thinking this is a real typewriter machine and not a Lego set. Now, probably the moment you've been waiting for, the mechanism of the set is something completely mind-blowing. And why? Because whenever you press a key, the center type bar rises and that in turn is linked to the carriage which moves across as you type. And like a real machine, once the carriage goes all the way to the left, it's time to reset set it like this, turn the carriage knob for the next line and keep typing. Let's be honest here, that's crazy, right? Right? The amount of design effort that must have gone into this to make the mechanism work flawlessly, so I must say that the designers on this one did amazingly well. When you're building the mechanics of the machine, sometimes you're left with chunks of Technic pieces which really don't make any sense, but as you start playing with it and seeing how everything works together, it becomes a super rewarding building experience. I don't really like LEGO Technic in general, but in this case there couldn't be any other way of achieving the exact same result, and in the end I don't really mind. Despite the heavy mechanics, the Technic elements used and the fair amount of repetition due to the key mechanism in the early stages of the build, this was one of the best building experiences I've ever had with LEGO sets. The center type bar in my set should be lower as seen from images and videos of the set online, so I quite can't figure out if maybe I did some mistake somewhere, but that isn't bothering me all that much to be honest. A real typewriter would have a single type bar for each key press, but at this scale and with LEGO bricks that couldn't have possibly be achieved in any way, so I feel that the compromise made here was for the best. Now let's talk about the pieces of the set for a moment, and as mentioned before, the keys are all printed, which is great, but there are however two stickers, one of them in the front and another in the back. This one has a lot of significance, as the SG stands for Steve Guinness, the fan designer who submitted the typewriter into the LEGO Ideas platform, his birthday, and an easter egg that stands for Never Give Up On Your Dreams. There's obviously a lot of sand green elements, including these ones, only seen before in the creator expert Porsche in white. There's also a fair amount of drum lacquered silver elements, five of these 32 long Technic axles, four of the newer 1x5 plates in a new color, and finally a shock absorber type of element which plays a very important role in the carriage mechanism I've shown you before. At little over 2000 pieces and with a price of 200 euros or US dollars, people might claim this is 
an expensive set and a bad deal when it comes to price per piece ratio when compared to other sets. But I would have to disagree. Yes, you don't get as many pieces as in other LEGO sets, but let's not forget the 32 printed elements of the keys, a lot of sand green elements, including some which we've never had in sand green before, the four shock absorber elements and the drum lacquered silver pieces, which are obviously not cheap to produce. If you buy it, you also get yourself an amazing building experience like nothing you've ever built before and in the end you get an amazing display piece with awesome functionality that will look great wherever you decide to display it. It doesn't scream Lego so if you're somewhat shy of displaying Lego around the house this would be perfect for you. I bought this set myself and I would encourage you all to do the same. This set goes straight into my top three favorite Lego sets of all time. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section, would love to hear your thoughts on the set and I will see you on the next one.